One of the things I'm most proud of is our mental health department, where we provide low-cost counseling to special needs individuals and their families. During times like this, this is something that everyone can use. Hi guys, welcome back to another character drawing class with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed Asner Family Center. Today, we are doing something super easy, something super simple, a really easy doodle that you guys can do on the side of your paper. If you're in the middle of Zoom class and like you're kind of zoning out a little bit and you need to keep your hands busy, Snoopy is the easiest character I think we could draw besides like when we did Hello Kitty that one time. But this is gonna be a nice quick class. And I also have a little special guest, my new, my baby sister. It's a baby. My baby. Panda. She looks a little bit like Snoopy. I got a treat for her here. She um, is our new sheep -a doodle She is a lovely creature. She's so sweet. And she is going to be our family's therapy dog. And also the mascot for the Ed Asner Family Center. So she's snacking along. But I thought... It was very suiting to bring her in for this Snoopy class that we're having today. So let's give her a little cuddle. Let's give her a little wave. You say bye, Panda. Bye. Have fun drawing. All right. Wah. See Exit. you next time. Stage left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. I love her so much. She's so wonderful. Um, let's get into it, right? You guys are here to draw. Let's just start drawing. So today is going to be a little bit different in two different ways, okay? So most of our characters we've been doing are looking at us either straight on or a little bit to the side, but today we're going to keep it super simple and do that classic Snoopy silhouette that we always see in a lot of the cartoons or whenever like Snoopy is advertised in general. Um, and also the other thing that's a little bit different than some of our other classes that we've been doing is I am just going to go straight in with our Sharpie today because, you know, I suggest for people who have never drawn Snoopy to, before to start with their pencil for sure. Always start with pencil. If you're not 100% sure about the doodles that you're about to do, um, but this is just going to be um, showing you the basic outlines to what Snoopy looks like. So you guys can do it at home. And uh, yeah, obviously at the end, you're going to want to grab your Sharpie or your thick tipped marker or pen to really finish off your cartoon and make it beautiful and a professional looking cartoon. Because we all want to try our best and make the best kind of product that we're hoping to get. So... Come on, grab your pencil, let's draw. All right, so here's our Snoop, our Snoop dog. <laughs> so as you can see, Snoopy is like not a perfectly drawn drawing, okay? Uh, Snoopy, I think was made, a, uh, I don't know what year Snoopy was made. It was quite a while ago though. So, you know, he, um, there's some very loose outlines, you know, not everything connects. Even on the ear, you can tell that it's not fully colored in. It's not a perfectly round circle. There's some gaps, there's some holes. And I think when you make cartoons like this, I think it gives it a little bit more character. And it also just like, it's such a specific style to uh, just like the um, Peanuts characters in general. I think it's so cute the way that the art is drawn. But let's just get into it, okay? So Snoopy's head is almost like a one line kind of drawing just on this top part for it's almost like one long connecting line from the mouth around to the ear. OK, so let's start with this super tiny little line here. OK, that makes things so easy. Actually, what might make it even easier is we just start with a little eyeball. Right. So right on the top of your paper here, we are going to make a skinny little oval just like that. OK. One little tiny dot. Right underneath it, we're going to make a little tiny diagonal line. And we are going to come around and make a straight line. See how I curved and made a straight line. Now I'm going to take that line up 
out, around, and up slightly. So let's just fix that little part there. But you see, I did have it go out a little bit further. His snout is quite long. Snoopy is not a sheep -a doodle though. I need to put that out there. Even though I did compare her to Panda, she, uh, she, he, Snoopy is a boy or a girl? Boy. Um, he is like, he's a beagle, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, so the head kind of comes up slightly and it's going to curve up around and down. Ooh, I kind of made it a little large. That's okay. See, that's why you want to use pencil, but that's okay. He's going to have kind of a high noggin today. So we're going to kind of go up, around, and back up. <laughs> this is, okay. Uh, you guys are kind of getting the idea of it. This is why I do pencil, you guys, and that's okay. You know, mistakes happen. So then for the ear, I'm going to come around just like making a U shape, and then I'm just going to very loosely cover that in, making the bottom a little bit more filled than the top. <laughs> I kind of like how weird his head looks. Okay, then he's going to have like a little tiny quail hairdo kind of situation here. He's got like a little curve. And then the cutest little nose ever, which is just like a nice round cut off egg shape here. And then just filling in the corner here with a little half circle. And just filling in that corner kind of gives his nose a little bit of a shine because dogs' nose are always wet. All right, let's make this actually a little bit bigger because we made his ear pretty large, actually. And then, so now he's just kind of a floating head. Let's give him a neck, right? So we're going to come right underneath the mouth here. And we are going to just, um, I'd say a little bit more to the left of the eye and make a nice little swoop. Just like that. <laughs> I made the nose so long, but luckily we got the original here. This is like our own version. That's the best part about doodling. You know, you can make your own version of the characters that we're drawing. So moving on, he's got a super skinny neck, right? So we're going to come about, I don't know, like a centimeter away from that first line, making that same kind of curve and having it go a little bit further back to the ear. Ending that with a little collar here, coloring that in slightly, leaving a little bit out. Also giving that a little bit of a shine. And then we're gonna make his cute little tummy here. So it's gonna look like, like a hook shape, like a little J. So we're gonna come right underneath the collar here, right where that line for the neck is. And you're gonna have it come curved down and out. <laughs> I made his tummy really nice and big. Maybe you just ate a bunch of bones. Okay, finally, we're gonna do the right side, the right arm. So it doesn't really connect here to the collar. So you can come a little bit down, curve it out, around, and don't really connect it to the belly, leave some space. And you see I made a straight line on this side. And then finally, just a nice little curved line in the middle for his paw. And he's got this little like, black marking on his back here. So you can make a little black circle or a little curvy black line like I did. And then his feet are so wonderful and so large, which I think is perfect for Snoopy because um, Panda, uh, they both have this in common. Usually with like puppies and dogs in general, their paws are just so big. And I love in cartoons, you can like really over exaggerate that, like what they did with Snoopy. But just like the neck, it's almost about the same width of the neck. We're making two little straight lines here. And then what we're going to do for the feet here is make it come even past his belly and curve down a straight line and a curve and a shorter straight line and a curve down like that. And then just connecting them with a nice long straight line. All right. And then let's do the toes. I'm excited for so two curved lines, boop, boop, right next to each other. And then the same thing behind. It's, oh, I w this is such a quick drawing, but I, I want it to keep going. I love drawing in Sharpie. But we're going to do a little tiny line back here for the leg. Let me bring that up a little bit closer so you can see where that line's going. See how it's right behind this line here, side by side, leaving a little space at the bottom there. 
And then bringing that line out further past that front foot and curving it around to connect. And then ending it with a toe. So cute. There is our kind of wonky headed Snoopy. So, so cute. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> I was reminded, I was like, what did he? Um, I almost forgot the tail. The tail is such a cute little part. So right behind the hand here, actually, is just another, a curved line and another curved line to connect a little pointy tail here. Now we're done. <laughs> That's true. He did look a little bit um, not fully complete, but here's our Snoopy today. He's so cute and such an easy little character to draw on the side of your paper or just in general when you're trying to practice your drawing skills. So that's going to do it for today's drawing. And I hope it has inspired you to hopefully draw some more because characters like this really show me that like, you know, anyone could draw. This art is not just for artists, you know, anyone could be an artist. If you sit down with a pen and you really focus on those curves and finding shapes and patterns within the characters, anyone could do it. It's so great. I love Snoopy. I love easy characters like this because it's a great way of practicing. I think it's super important that everyone during this time of like really staying indoors and having so much time to themselves to really just sit down, be with yourself and get creative because that's so important. You know, we all got to do that every once in a while. I suggest don't even have a plan sometimes and just go for it. I think making trash not trash art, but you know, art that you don't really care about, don't really care about making your main masterpiece in your life is important. Try and make some silly art at least once, once a week, every day, every hour. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much for joining us for another character drawing class. Come and tune in on Saturdays also for my crafting classes that we do on YouTube and Facebook and I think, I think it's all of our platforms. But yes, that's going to be it for today. Send me your Snoopy pictures. Send me your characters from other classes. Send me your ideas for other characters that we can do in the future at Aviva at edazenfamilycenter.org. Okay, see you guys next time. Goodbye. We know we ask a lot from our patron and support network, and we are always so grateful for your generosity. In these challenging times, it's even harder to raise the funding we need to serve our community and achieve our goals. So we're always looking for new ways to maintain our revenue without adding additional burdens to our supporters. Today, we're excited to share a great opportunity that can really help our community and requires no additional out-of-pocket from you. We've partnered with the Liberty Company Insurance Brokers and their Liberty Cares program. Liberty Cares is simple. You already make monthly payments for your insurance needs, whether it's auto, home, or for your business. For every line of insurance you move to Liberty, they will donate 25% of the commissions they receive on your policies back to our cause. And under this special partnership arrangement, that donation will come to us again and again every year you keep your policy with Liberty. Often, you'll be able to move your insurance into this program simply by signing one form. It's that easy. The Liberty Company is one of the nation's largest insurance brokers, and they've won a number of recognitions for their excellent operations and workplace culture, so you can rest assured that you will be well taken care of. If you would like to learn more about how this new partnership with Liberty can help turn your insurance dollars into much needed funds for our community, please visit libertycompany.com forward slash Liberty Cares, or shoot them an email at libertycares at libertycompany.com. And please be sure to let them know that you're part of our community so that they will credit the benefit of your policies back to our organization. Your ongoing support is much appreciated. So thank you in advance. <laughs>